Hello everyone, Chell here with Prismatic Powders. Today we're going to feature a powder that falls into the category of vein type finishes. Vein finishes are really cool because they add a certain texture and dimension in a way that other finishes don't. They're textured, but they're smooth. But our Fractured Illusion series powders definitely crank it to 11. These powders are unlike anything else because not only do you get the vein texture, but you get an easy to apply candy look as well. Now we're going to take this old Yamaha gas tank and spray out Fractured Illusion Violet. But we're going to put a little twist on this project and add a little Peacock Sapphire as well. Peacock Sapphire is a high gloss transparent with a color shifting metallic that shifts from aqua green to blue to violet. And if you know anything about our Illusion series powders, you know how important that clear coat is. It's the clear that pulls out the dormant pigments of the base coat. So what we're going to try is essentially fading Peacock Sapphire into Clear Vision for our Clear Top Coat application. So stick around and find out what the result will look like. Illusion Series powders might be one of my favorite powders to spray. It's fun to see how each one evolves through the application process. You'll notice how this powder is purple, but pay attention to what happens after the flash curing process. The flash curing process is easy, but requires your attention. With the oven at 400 degrees, you need to check the oven periodically to see when the powder gels out and looks glossy. After that happens, just set a timer for two minutes. This powder has gone through a radical transformation. It's now bright silver with fine purple cracks. Sometimes this freaks people out because they think that they've done something wrong. But once you add the clear, the magic happens. I'm just blowing off the excess powder from around the areas that I'm going to create the fade point. Since I'm fading two clear top coats, I just want to flash the first layer so that the next layer will blend properly. You can already see how the clear is pulling those dormant pigments from the Fractured Illusion Violet. The next powder on deck is Clear Vision. I'm just blowing off little areas of overspray here and there. You may have noticed that the Clear Vision has a slightly different cure temperature than the Peacock Sapphire. We have to make a decision here. And better to over cure than under cure. So we're going to keep the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This may lead to a slightly darker end result, but we'll be okay with that. With our tank up to temperature, we can start the cure timer. Oh, dale. For those of you with eagle eyes, you might have noticed that the area under part of the gas cap didn't get enough clear to pull the pigment from the base coat. That likely happened when I was feathering the fade point with the air hose. I decided to show you this because it's important to be careful when you use the air hose because it can be hard to tell where you've blown off some of the clear from some of those tight areas. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll meet again in the next one.